No comment, he seems a bit overconfident with this build. Maybe it works if you have a brain. Now I will teach them to fear me. I will become what I must be. Why? Because I can. Hello everyone and welcome in a new video. It has been a while, and that because I suffered from some huge packet loss but rest assured. I am back and we have a lot to do. Enjoy. As the title suggests, in this game we are looking to turn one of our carries into a monster. But before doing so, would you look at this guy. A fake cheap imitation, jungle with fleet and ignite. This setup is only good if you get the first kill and both his buffs otherwise, the greater they dream the harder they feed. Since this jungler doesn't master his technique, he's playing in our comfy zone. We are going to use his tactics against him. The early levels give a huge advantage in dueling and securing buffs, and it is time for some jungle bullying. Remember, he started it first. Right at this instant, someone was screaming and it was me. Where is this useless top laner? He was holding the wave, 6 minions will not help you against LeBlanc. Either my presence or the mid laner and you failed us both. This is the useless mentality, I'll farm, and hope someone will carry. The only death on our part is myself, and reversing the tides of this situation is still at hand. Even now that I am behind compared to the average jungler, I am still ahead against this cane. I'll simply transfer the buff and grant the kill to my mid laner. This my friends is the spark of our monster, Silas the carry. If you are sure that someone will carry the game given the resources, there are only few things to do. First, shadow your carry. Think of it as if he is your source of light and whenever he goes, you are there to support him. Second part, boost his morale. Saying positive things can be a strong motivator to put players in the mood of winning. The rest will come along the way, since now your sole existence revolves around one player. The rest are just there for the show. Please make sure to subscribe, otherwise Volibear will hug you to death. What happened in the early game is enough proof to show that this guy doesn't have what it takes. But as the game goes, Kane, specifically, Blue Kane, doesn't require much skill to carry he can feed all game and one shot your bot lane just like that. So, until we reach that stage. Let's make sure that our win condition is secured. The game right now is going into our favor, to reward my dear mid laner. I'll pour all the possible gold into his pocket. One of the red flags that you shouldn't dive, is when you are facing a brand. One spell will mess you up beyond recognition. So we will just try to get the gold and take our leave. Yes, this is a camp, and a good one I might add. Malphite playstyle is focused around setting up the playing field with one button. You'll press R and E and your job is done. But this player opted for a tanky build against a sustain, burst mage. Sadly, can't see you winning anytime soon. Perhaps in the late stages of the game. After giving the first tower gold to my carry, now it is time to make sure the enemy team doesn't group. You can do that by simply applying pressure on the side lanes. But again, we're the rabbit. He is dead, and I am here just distracting the enemy. I might say this was a mistake, currently I am sinking with the mid laner and didn't interact at all with the bot side. This means, a throw is on the way. Right now, I felt there is a chance in the mid lane to end this game. But we got mauled and this was my mistake to be honest. Our bot lane would have backed off if I didn't teleport and all our investments are with Mr. Silas. So, RIP my team.
This is a rule of thumb, in every game, one Baron will be killed in silence. So, make sure to be the one taking this advantage, the first Baron is the easiest to kill and around the 20 minutes mark players usually back to complete one of their core items. The main issue is with my setup it will take a considerable amount of time to solo this objective. I would suggest to spam ping it or type it, you might be chat banned due to toxicity, but who cares. I am not a big fan on backing, I feel you lose so much tempo and after the recent changes, small parts of items are trash to be honest. If I may say one thing good about my useless top laner, he didn't ask for help at all. So, let's see what he was up against this whole game. No comment, he seems a bit overconfident with this build. Maybe it works if you have a brain. Just some limit testing, you won't get many chances to see how far can you go at each stage of the game. I know I'll die, so let's make it a glorious one. Right when I spawned a fight is taking place, the enemy will never expect the jungler to have teleport. All they see are death timer, and in their mind, it will take me at least 30 seconds to reach them or 20 if there are portals. Teleport is the ultimate flash form, I'm coming and you won't see me until it is too late. This is the last event of this game, to be fair this player is not my duo but he got some carry potential and I just happened to use it in my favor. Not every game you'll find good players and sometimes you can't carry even if you try hard. One thing for sure, if you shadow someone and you get him ahead. You will benefit from that relation 100%. On the other hand, what happens to you happens also to the enemy team it is sometimes a matter who got the worst luck, like this Ezreal for instance. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like raw content you are welcome to check my channel for actual live gameplay. I think about streaming from time to time and you can come ask me direct question or simply watch me suffer as I try to make my way of climbing working. This is it for today's video and see you in the next one. You are still here, well one tip is that if you are facing more than two melee champions grasp of the undying is a good pickin'. Otherwise, I think about going unsealed spellbook so that I can go flash and swap to teleport when the right chance is at hand. You can check my trial and error in the live stream tab and let me know what you think.